Zumba que zumba, mira el ojo a la boa. Zumba que zumba, como le relampaguea. Zumba que zumba, mira que boa más fea. Zumba que zumba, que me lleve la pelona. Welcome to About This Much, the most inaccurate cooking show on the web. Today's episode, Venezuelan arepas. What are arepas? Arepas is the most important food for Venezuelans. It's our culinary flag. It's the first solid that we eat when we are kids. It means everything. It could be eaten for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, for snack. It's our bread. It's our soul. It's our identity. Colombians also have arepas, uh, but Venezuelan arepas and Colombian arepas are, are slightly different. They're equally delicious. So today, as I'm Venezuelan, I'm gonna cook Venezuelan arepas. There's different types of arepas also in Venezuela. Uh, today we're gonna make the basic one. We're gonna make grilled white arepas. What is an arepa? Arepa, it's made of, of corn, is 100% gluten-free. There's no wheat and nothing but corn. It's made with a special flour. It's called harina pan. It's a very Venezuelan product. It's the equivalent as, as, as Vegemite for Australians, harina pan for Venezuela. It's the food product, the food brand that represents our country. If you don't know where to buy this, ask your Venezuelan friends because you can find it any Anywhere in the world. The flavor of an arepa is very mild corn flavor. It's, it doesn't have the strong corn flavor of, of a corn tortilla or a tortilla chip. It's a round starchy pocket and you open it and you fill it and I'm gonna teach you six different types of arepas. Some of them are classics some of them I made them up. So here we go. First thing you need is harina pan. I already told you that's the arepa corn flour specifically, specifically, specifically to make arepas. We're gonna need a bowl, hot water, cold water, a whisk, salt, and a neutral flavor oil. This one that I have here is, is olive oil, but it's not extra virgin olive oil. It's, it's a mild flavor olive oil, so it will work. The hot water and the cold water is because uh, I, I, I want you to know that I, I just want you to use warm water. But if you have hot water, you put cold water, you'll have warm water. you have warm water. Mix the waters to a temperature you don't burn yourself. You can make arepas with cold water, but with warm water, the, the dough is going to be a lot better. How much water? I don't know. Two phalanges. Top your phalange. Okay, now with the flour, with harina pan. Start adding the flour and whisk it. Flour and whisk it. Until you get like a soft mashed potato texture. Then let it rest. The flour of harina pan will soak a lot of water and it's gonna get harder. So if you put too much flour, is you're gonna have rocky arepas. You don't want a very tough, heavy dough. You want a lighter dough. Now add some salt, just squishing with your hands, just squish, play dough, just squish it. So this flour, this dough has no gluten, so it's not, a, it's not going to be elastic like a bread dough. Make sure there's no lumps, just mix the salt, try. Now add some oil, keep mixing. You can also make arepas without oil in the, in the dough, but I like to put oil in the dough because a friend of mine gave me this trick. It will prevent the arepa from cracking and getting too dry. Get a big pan, big griddle, flat griddle. Make sure it's very hot, oil it, clean it with a paper towel. Then grab a bit of arepa dough, the size of a pool bowl, like a cube bowl. Make a little bowl and make it round. And while you're making it round, start squishing so you can have a flat, thick disc. And when you get to that point, you just start flattening it, uploading. There is a song in Venezuela we, we say to kids when they're tiny and they're babies and you have them on your lap and you're like You go Arepita de manteca pa mama que da la teta Which means the translation, the literal translation is Little arepa made of lard for mom who is breastfeeding I didn't write the song that's, it's a weird song. What am I gonna say? It's a very weird song, but that's the song. 
and we all grew up with that song. Make a, a flat round disc, put it on your pan, and we're gonna make crusts outside the arepa. Don't touch it much. Just leave it there, let the heat make a nice crust. Once the crust is made, it's done, it's gonna get unstuck from the pan. See, the crust is done. Now flip them, we're gonna have the same crust on the other side. And after that, we're gonna put them in the oven. So arepa, there's two cooking methods involved in making the traditional arepa. One will be on the griddle and then we'll finish them in the oven. Jesus Christ, look at that oven. That's disgusting. Man. Well, this show is made at my place. I use that oven every day. I love cheese toasties and I, and I, okay, I'll clean the oven. Let me clean the oven. I cannot continue with the show with this oven. Fuck, it's disgusting. Now that's better. That's better. Arepas are nice and golden, both sides. Now we're gonna put them in the oven. High heat, leave them there. They're gonna be ready when you, when you cut them. They're gonna have a hollow sound, like a little drum. Boom, 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 boom. And that's when the arepa is fully cooked and ready to eat. Arepas are ready. They're beautiful, they're plump, they're crunchy outside, they're soft inside, and they're very, very hot inside. So be careful, the steam is pretty hot. Leave the arepas in the oven, very, very low heat just to keep them warm. Another thing you can do, you can cover them in a clean um, tea towel. And now let's make the fillings and fill some arepas. The first filling we're gonna make, it's a Venezuelan classic. Classic arepa filling is the Reina Pepeada. Literal translation, spotted queen. The real definition, the meaning of Reina Pepeada is like beautiful queen. And it's just a chicken, avocado, mayo salad inside an arepa. Um, the story goes that in the 1950s, uh, one of the first Venezuelan Miss World, Susana Duin, she won the contest and she used to go to one arepa place called the Arepera of uh, the Alvarez brothers. And back in the day, in the 50s, it was a slang to say if, if a woman was beautiful, you say that woman is pepiada. Uh, that slang is not used anymore in Venezuela. If something is pepiada or pepiado means if something is very cool or done really well. She, she, she went to the restaurant and then the, the owner of the restaurant was very proud that a Venezuelan woman has won Miss World and he gave her this arepa with that feeling and he said, hey, my queen, this is also another queen. This reina está pepiada. This is a beautiful queen. Very easy. You get poached chicken breasts, you get some avocado, some mayo. Some people in Venezuela put onions. I prefer spring onions because it's a lighter flavor and coriander, salt, that's it. Smush it, smash it, taste it. Sometimes you need a bit of vinegar. I like when every time I make like a chicken salad and I put mayo in it, I like to put a little vinegar just to, to make it, to balance the richness of the avocado and the mayo with some vinegar. That's it, reina pepiada, number one arepa, done. Second arepa we're gonna make is Perico. Perico, literal translation is parrot. Also in Venezuela, perico is another name for cocaine. Yes, te metiste perico, si metí perico. Cocaine. <laughs> so parrot, cocaine, and also huevo perico. It's scrambled eggs with tomatoes and onions. I'm gonna do something different here. My favorite way of making huevo perico is adding a bit of chorizo. So it's tomato, onions, and chorizos, which is a kind of huevos rancheros. We're not Mexican, but we love the same food. So to make the pericos, put the chorizo meat on the pan, cook it, break it down. You want little pieces, then some onions, cook the onions with the chorizo with, with, once the, the fat of the chorizo is rendered, and then some tomatoes, beat some eggs, put them. We're making scrambled eggs, okay? It's not rocket science. The only thing I suggest, never overcook the eggs. Once you put them in the pan, stir them for a little while, Turn the, the heat off, keep stirring, and serve them, okay? And this time I'm gonna put some crumbed feta cheese. So Australian feta, full cream, is the, the closest 
to Venezuelan queso blanco. Perico with chorizo, done. So I wanna show you how versatile arepas are. So I'm gonna make an Australian arepa with kangaroo, bacon, tomato, and halloumi. Halloumi, which is a Greek or Cypriot cheese, and there's nothing more Australian than halloumi cheese. Here we go. Grill the kangaroo, grill the bacon, grill the cheese, slice some avocados, slice some tomatoes, put it in the arepa, get some barbecue sauce. Fucking beauty, mate. Look at that fucking legend. That's a bloody massive unit of a fucking arepa. Yeah. Here you go. You like it? Fucking great, mate. That arepa is a fucking legend, mate. The Aussie arepa. This is 2020 and I live in Melbourne, Australia. I need to show a vegan option. This is a hipster, vegan, Melbourne style cafe, vegan, did I say vegan already? Arepa. Get some hummus, get some one of one of those uh, uh, already seasoned tofus, but very tasty. Grill it just to get, get some color and some heat going uh, through the tofu and then just make your arepas. Hummus, tofu, avocado, tomato, that's it. Voila, vegan arepa for you. So you don't say anything. I just cooked some kangaroo and chorizo. Fair enough, vegan arepa for you. Now the most traditional of all arepas, the basic one. Just butter and queso blanco. Butter and feta, that's it. I'm gonna show you how to eat arepas when you're at home and you're Venezuelan. This is the way I do it, this is the way many Venezuelans do it. You open the steamy arepa, scoop the dough, put it aside, that dough is hot. This is the moment to put some butter on top of that dough. You're gonna eat that dough after the arepa, okay? Then butter the arepa inside, put some cheese, and that's it. And I couldn't hold myself because this is a basic flavor of any Venezuelan palate. This flavor tastes like home. I couldn't wait. I started eating the arepa and I messed up the beautiful range of arepas that I already had. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna put it there, have eaten. I ruined the whole thing. I was making a beautiful masterpiece. Not anymore, because arepas are delicious, delicious. And now we're gonna make a controversial arepa. Yes. I live in Australia, there's so many Venezuelans living in Australia, and this is where two cultures are going to clash and blend and make love. Arepas with Vegemite. Yes, yeah. I said it. For all you Venezuelans watching this who are cringing, I'm sorry. Some Venezuelans like Vegemite, like myself. Vegemite is full of umami. Arepa is the first thing a Venezuelan eats. It's the first solid food. You know that little dough I scooped out before? That's the thing that babies eat for the first time, the first solid. <laughs> it's in our memory. So guess what, for Australians, Vegemite is the same thing. It's the first savory food they eat. Salty foods are addictive. We all love salt and Vegemite is good. Just give it a try, okay? So yes, I'm gonna make arepas with Vegemite. I'm honoring my new country and my country Venezuela. Australia and Venezuela arepa with Vegemite. Get some butter because Vegemite tastes shit if there's no butter. And then just smear that Vegemite, baby. Just smear it, just a little bit. Just a little bit of Vegemite, yee. Yeah. And put some tomatoes and avocado. Just one, delicious. It's one of the best toasts you can have in Australia. Butter, Vegemite, tomato, avocado, put in an arepa. I'm a genius. Six different styles of arepas. You have with kangaroo, with chicken, with chorizo. You have vegan, you have vegetarian. I hope you enjoy arepas as much as every Venezuelan does. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Um, make them at home. And if you are celiac, gluten intolerant or whatever, you can eat arepas 100% gluten free and it's a beautiful carb. I love carbs, carbs and cheese. Doppio Falange. This was about this much. I hope you liked the show. Please like me on Facebook, on Instagram TV, on YouTube, and, and share these. Tell your friends. I'm making more videos. I'm loving doing this. Thank you so much. Stay delicious. Goodbye. Ciao.